Hey everyone, RJ Garwitz, founder, CEO of Web Talk, and I want to welcome you to our live demo right now of today's release of our social CRM 2.0. So we filed a patent on this technology a couple of years ago, um, still patent pending right now, but uh, we're going through some UI tweaking on it and some feature enhancements to it, which is absolutely incredible. So if you haven't joined Web Talk yet, and you are, you know, just seeing this for the first time, it's going to be pretty impactful. And if you already are one of our ninety-two thousand users um, that uh, that have been at Web Talk and using Web Talk, the new features that we launched are incredible. So I want to walk you through right now. I'm going to flip the screen, and I'm going to walk you through each step of the way from the connection process to labeling contacts to how that impacts your newsfeed and how it also impacts your contact management system and what it really means for your relationship management and how WebTalk really is a new era of communication. So I want to go to the next step here. Let me see if I can flip this over. All right, there we go and zoom out. And I'm going to actually see if I can tilt the screen. There you go. Hopefully, oh, I can't tilt while I'm recording. Well, that's not good. At least I'm learning. All right. So right here, you're going to see a way to connect with users. So when you go to connect, it's going to ask you now to set permissions. So immediately, you set permissions, whether you know them personally or professionally or both. So here I'll say, yes, I know them professionally, and yes, I know them um, personally as well. So I can add one person into both networks. Now, by default, it's on acquaintance for both types of labels, but if they are more than an acquaintance, you can add them to a private channel. So and it also labels your contacts either personally or professionally as friend or family. So it segregates your friends from your family. And if they're a business contact, and this is where it gets really important, you can choose if they are an investor, client, colleague, vendor, service provider, entrepreneur, or classmate. And let's say, say um, this person is a client. Well, now I can choose the companies from my resume and create a custom channel or put them in this custom channel for um, both Newsfeed and my virtual Rolodex. Now let's say they're a prospective client. Well, unlike LinkedIn, who doesn't want you to connect with people you don't know, we put them into a separate folder because that's what relationships are all about. That's what networking is all about. It's about meeting new people. It's about growing relationships. So this is what this is able to do is you can choose yes. And even if you put them in a prospect, now you see job candidate pop up as well. So you can add somebody as a job candidate if you're a hiring manager or if you're doing investment raising or fundraising for a charity or a nonprofit or for a startup. Um, you can put them as a prospective investor. Um, you can put them as, if you're doing uh, vendor procurement, you know, your vendor RFPs and, you know, sales, obviously client customer, um, and then entrepreneur partner. So if you are, um, you know, looking to partner with other companies to do things, or if you're an investor in, you, your clients are your investors in your fund, but you partner with entrepreneurs, then you can put them in this bucket. So how we came up with these labels and determine these labels is every single relationship category at a high level can fall into these professional categories, but also in your personal life, you basically have these three categories. But moving beyond these categories, if you want to search and you want to tag somebody as a separate category, you actually have sub categories that you can do with simple keyword tags. Now let's say this is a prospective investor for WebTalk. Right? I can say they are Series A um, investor right here and hit enter. And it adds that tag and that's a searchable tag now when I go into contact management. So then I can dive down into my prospective investors for WebTalk and type in in the search bar Series A, which I'll show you in a minute here, um, how you can do that and it'll automatically pull that user up. Now, let's say that I wanna add some notes and values because they're a prospect. I'm gonna say their news value, that's some pretty good thunder behind me, wow. So I'm gonna say their news value is really low um, because 
Well, if it's a prospective investor, I'll probably leave it at a median. And then recommendation value, I'm not sure, so I'll leave that alone as well. But if you know these people that they have high recommendation value or you wanna see more news from them, you can turn that up. Um, and then notes. So this is another key component here for your social CRM. You can have timestamp notes right here. So let's say um, I talk to this prospective investor and the prospective investor, um, we had a call today. Call went well. Sorry, it's hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> and follow follow up tomorrow. Right. And then I just hit enter. Not only do I come back to this contact and have all my notes that are right here, but I can actually search for what I just wrote in here as a keyword as well. So it's all part of your contact management. And this is how easy it is to change any of this information. So let me cancel out of this. And if I go into um, the right, my right hand menu over here and I click contacts. So inside of my contacts, I can see I have, you know, um, 649 professional contacts, 47 personal contacts. And let's say I only want to see professional contacts. Well, now it opens up that part of my Rolodex. And right now I haven't, because we launched this today, everything got um, default labeled to acquaintance. So I'm going to show you some real actual filtering of contacts and how you label them in real life. So here I'm going to put, um, do a search for Jeff. There's Jeff. Now I want to edit his contact information now. So I'm going to edit Jeff's contact information and I'm going to put him as a colleague at WebTalk. And he's also a friend, so <laughs> I put the man as a keyword right there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, um, and then, you know, I don't really need to add notes because he's my partner in WebTalk, one of many. But then I can click save, and now he's relabeled. And I've got a colleague at WebTalk. A new folder just opened up over here. So I can open that up, and there's my colleague. Now I can go back into this again and add all my contacts. So here I'll give um, a different example um, of, let's see here, I'll do Paul, because Paul is also the man right here. So I'm gonna edit Paul, and Paul is a, an investor at WebTalk, right? So, um, and I would say yes, I can add him as a, as a personal acquaintance. So you can see some of this stuff. So I can put, you know, Angel, um, and then whatever whatever deals I wanna add into that, right? So, and then I can save it, I can add whatever notes for Paul, and save. So every time I wanna come back, now it just got updated, and instantly there's a new folder created over here called Investors. So now I've got this investor folder, I've got a colleagues folder, um, and when I open it, it tells me which companies have those contacts. So if you have multiple companies on your resume, it'll keep driving down and allow you to aggregate specific contacts within specific companies. So you've got a full on social CRM, and this is for anybody doing any kind of deal making um, based on those labels and those categories, but it's all built right into the networking utility, right? And nobody sees these labels, but, but me. So, and well, obviously you guys on this video, but <laughs> so um, you've got followers and following is how the world views your contacts. They don't see any type of label for your contacts at all. Now, once you've put these labels on your contacts, not only can you find them and search them better. So if I want to go back to professionals and anybody I've added, like, let's say keyword engineer, right? Which is already boom. So now I've got 12 contacts for, or 22 for engineer. People I've put engineer as their contact in the search. So um, this search up here allows you to filter through those keywords and find those people. Now, once we come out with pro, our premium features, there's gonna be a selected message all here. So you can actually do one big group message, but the real cool part is it's gonna have the ability to do a blind copy. So you can, um, send one message to a specific audience and it'll have name and quotes uh, so it's pre-filled it'll automatically enter each person's name so it looks personally addressed 
and it'll have the same message, but nobody will see it through the blind copy. Now that's for private group messaging to targeted audiences. But what about high level audiences? What say you want to say um, you want to speak to um, a group of um, professional contacts? So you want to do all professional contacts or personal contacts or all connections or to the public. That's like a Twitter, a LinkedIn or Facebook. But then here's your custom. So your custom now allows you to mark things as confidential, which actually removes the share function and puts a big confidential stamp on it. So if you're talking to current investors or your colleagues and you want to share something specific with them and you want them to share it, um, it'll, it'll tell them right then and there, boom, this is confidential, keep it confidential, don't share this and only they see it and it can't be shared. So now let's say I want to, here, since I got a colleague now, I'll put in, um, I'll do that example right now. Uh, Oh no, it's a prospect. So let's do um, colleague at web talk and now I'll add this. And now you can add multiple channels. Let's say I want to also do investors at web talk. I'll add that and it's marked as confidential. And I'll say, all right, I want to post to that group. Now I'll come up here to that custom group and I'll say, um, we are about to hit a hundred K users. All right, so boom. And then I can attach any kind of file, photo, video, or a document right to this and whatever I want. So it's kind of like a Slack and any type of file, and then I'll post it. And then boom, there's your confidential stamp and no share function. So. It goes right to that target audience, which I can control here. I can see who that audience is. So it says changing the privacy post will disable the confidential status. Um, so I understand that. So um, I'm not changing it, but here it tells me what my categories are. So I've got colleague at WebTalk, I've got investor and donor at WebTalk, and I can instantly say, all right, I wanna remove this channel from here, and then I can update it, right? Um, so, and but it did remove the confidential stamp if you do that, just FYI. Now, let's say I only want to see posts from specific categories. Unlike any other social network, this works more like a Slack. You have this filter for your newsfeed. So if I only wanna see professional connections, I can do that. If I only wanna see personal contacts, I can do that. So that switches over from like a Facebook to a LinkedIn instantly. And then if I only wanna see feeds from my colleagues at WebTalk, I can add that, and then boom, I got a feed just from my colleagues at WebTalk, just like that. So anybody I've labeled it. So you can get right to the content and to the news that you wanna see, and like WebTalk is growing. So right now if I wanna engage with just my colleagues or my investors or my friends or my family, and eventually with our search here, those keywords that you're adding, you're gonna actually be able to filter even further and say, um, let me go back to professional. Um, we'll go to all contacts, but then I'll say um, engineer, right? Engineer. So it'll start looking for it, but we're gonna have like Slack, we're gonna really update this search. So you'd be able to filter your feed based on categories, based on keywords, based on image recognition. So it does a lot. And then if let's say, um, let me go back here. If all I want is a feed that's just photos, like an Instagram, oh, let me reset that. I just click photo, which I see we have a bug here right now. Oh, it's pulling my post, so that's what it is. But it'll show um, a feed with just, just photos or a feed with just files like a Dropbox or a feed with just videos like a YouTube. So you can filter your content like nothing out there on the internet today. It literally allows you to get in and get out. Post what you want, make sure it goes to the right people and look for the information you want and get the information you want when you want it. So this feed took us forever to build. I mean, we spent millions of dollars building this technology. It's unbelievable. So it does everything. It does your, your Instagram feed, your Dropbox feed, your YouTube feed, your Slack channels, your um, public like 
marketing to uh, specific clientele. You can do anything like a Twitter. So this feed does it all. This one news feed does it all. And it's got some bugs, which we're working on. That's why it's a beta. But I mean, it, this is revolutionary. This technology is going to change the game. So moving beyond that, everything you post here content wise, your photos, your videos, your documents, all gets immediately pulled out and organized into a photo gallery that's personal, professional, only me or public as by default. But then we're gonna add custom folders over here after we're out of beta and you'll be able to sync your Google Drive and Dropbox just by plugging in the APIs right here. So everything will sync in real time between all your content management accounts. And then once it's pulled in here, you can actually share it with the network here. And that's for everything, photos, videos, and files. So now your profile, when you label your contacts, every single line item inside of your profile is available to have those privacy settings, right? So I can go and choose in my, in here, I can choose the privacy settings for each thing, personal, professional, only me. So every line item on your profile has privacy to it. Now, where are we going with this? So in here, you have files, photos, videos, like an Instagram. So your profile is kind of a blend between a LinkedIn, a Facebook, and an Instagram automatically, but 10 times better, because you can actually edit it, change your tagline, change opacity of your background, so it's also got some elements of like branded.me built into it. So it is, it's a very, very powerful profile that does a lot. And I better make this quick because my computer's about to die. But our search, if let's say you want to find an accountant, right? Or actually probably better yet, I can do sales within your network. I type sales and then boom, here's all the salespeople. So our search is getting better and better and better. Um, we've got a lot of functionality we haven't released yet for search. And um, we actually filed um, a patent on some of our technology for search, which is pretty mind blowing when you look at what we've done behind the scenes. And we'll kind of bring that out as time comes along. So I really wanted to show just the social CRM component to this because that's the entire system is built on that patent pending technology. We manage your contacts based on their value, personal, professional, and what kind of category they fit in that and also by their stage. Are they a current relationship or are they a prospective relationship? Because every single relationship in life should not be treated as equals. Because in real life, they're not. You don't talk to your colleague like you would a prospective client, like you would your spouse. So all those relationships have different value, but on social media, that hasn't been recognized until now. That is until right now. Six and a half million dollars we've invested into this system to change the game. We are bringing enterprise contact management features into the world of consumer networking. So that's it. So without further ado, until the next release, <laughs> we got more coming. So stay tuned, make sure you join Web Talk and start inviting everybody you know because that's the other big kicker. We're sharing up to half of our revenue for life to the first million users in the door. So get invited, get in and invite because you want to take advantage of that. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care.